welcome to the Monday Thursday service for Valois United Church in Point Claire, Quebec. Monday comes from the word mandatum, which has to do with a commandment. And you will hear in the scripture reading this evening the words that Jesus said long ago, a new commandment I give unto you, that you love one another as I have loved you. We're also mindful it's a story about washing, so it's about water. It's John's communion story enacted as Jesus washes the disciples' feet. This evening, as we share in, um, in communion also, you're invited to play along at home if you wish. Um, you have uh, bread at home, you may have some grapes that you wish to use, or you might have some grape juice or wine. Um, and you're invited to participate as you choose at home. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, Fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. I remember you, O oh God, because you dared dream me into existence. I remember you, O oh Christ, because you washed me and gave me your promise in bread and wine. I remember you, O oh Spirit, because you breathed hope into my hopelessness. God, we remember. Help us never to forget. Grant us new life with you as we draw near in remembrance during this journey of Lent. Let us pray. So often, O oh God, we turn from what memory could offer us. Yes, some of our memories are painful, but some are so full of joy that we can hardly bear their passing. What did Jesus mean when he asks us to remember him? We are still in awe of our seat at the table, that we forget to remember what we're here for. So now, in the quiet, we remember. In the silence oft forgotten, we remember. We are here in Christ's presence. Forgive, O oh Christ, our distraction from remembering you. Grant us the stillness that brings us to the mystery of our faith, and the mercy of your love. We are forgiven. Be present with us in the stillness that is you, O oh God. Grant us your grace, and peace, and mercy. Amen. We hear John's story in John chapter 13. Now before the festival of the Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart from this world and to go to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. The devil had already put it into the heart of Judas, son of Simon Iscariot, to betray him. And during supper, Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands, and that he had come from God and was going to God, got up from the table, took off his outer robe, and tied a towel around himself. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel that was tied around him. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered, You do not know now what I am doing, but later you will understand. Peter said to him, You will never wash my feet. Jesus answered, Unless I wash you, you have no share with me. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, not with my feet only, but also on my hands and my head. Jesus said to him, One who is bathed does not need to wash except for the feet but is entirely clean, and you are clean, though not all of you. For he knew who was to betray him, and for this reason he said, not all of you are clean. After he had washed their feet, and put on his robe, and had returned to the table, he said to them, Do you know what I have done to you? You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, for that is what I am. So if I, your 
Lord and teacher have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have set you an example that you should do as I have done to you. Very truly, I tell you, servants are not greater than their master, nor are messengers greater than the one who sent them. If you know these things, you are blessed if you do them. This is the gospel of Christ. Thanks be to God. Remembering John's Last Supper story with washing at its center, we now use this water as a reminder. As servants of Christ, we wash our hands. As servants of Christ, we remember our hands are washed. As servants of Christ, our hands are prepared for their daily routines, working, playing, nurturing, resting. As servants of Christ, our hands are prepared to do God's work throughout our daily activities. Our hands are prepared to do acts of love, to do acts of justice, to do acts of peace, and to do acts of faith. As servants of Christ, we wash our hands. As servants of Christ, we remember our hands are washed. Look at your own hands and receive this blessing. Bless these hands with their gentle touch. Bless these hands as they caress the ones they love so much. Bless these hands that clasp in prayer. Bless these hands that seek God's guidance each hour. Bless these hands as they hold the spoon up. Bless these hands as they lift the cup. Bless these hands that clean mess after mess. Bless these hands with patience as they are put to test. Bless these hands that wipe away tears. Bless these hands that long to take away fears. Bless these hands that are often wrung in worry and fear. Bless these hands of comfort for loved ones so dear. Bless these hands that grow weary and tired. Bless these hands May they always be gentle, kind, and inspired. Bless these hands, God, which are dedicated to you. Bless these hands that are yours to work through. Bless these hands, God, with power from above. Bless these hands to deliver your May the peace of Christ be with you all. Let us pray. Thanks and praise be to you, O God, for you create life out of the dust and sustain us even in the desert of Lent. We thank you that in the face of every temptation and trial, every principality and power, you are present to wash move and revive. We praise you for sending us Jesus, your suffering servant, to walk before us the way of the cross, to turn us to you and to one another. This evening we remember that on the night of his arrest, Jesus took bread, and having given thanks, This is my body. In the same way also, he took wine. And having blessed it, he poured it out.
he gave the cup to his disciples, saying, Take this and share it among yourselves. For I shall not drink again of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this in remembrance of Blessed are you, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread and this wine to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. Breathe your spirit upon us and upon these gifts, dear God. May they become for us the bread of life and the cup of salvation as we celebrate together our Passover from death to new life. We hunger to sharing in your goodness now as on that great day of festivity to come, of which this banquet table is a sign. We share now in the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The gifts of God are for the people of God. God, our Savior, power of loving service in the world, we thank you for Jesus the Christ, who on the night in which he was betrayed, gave himself to his friends in humble service and in bread and in wine. May we do the same for the whole world as we follow his example. We continue hearing John's story. When he had gone out, Jesus said, Now the Son of Man has been glorified, and God has been glorified in him. If God has been glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and will glorify him at once. Little children, I am with you only a little longer. You will look for me. As I said to the Judeans, so now I say to you, where I am going, you cannot come. I give you a new commandment, that you love one another, just as I have loved you. You also should love one another. By this, everyone will know you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. After Jesus had spoken these words, he went out with his disciples across the Kidron Valley to a place where there was a garden, which he and his disciples entered. This is the gospel of Christ. Thanks be to God. This Monday, Thursday service is complete. And so receive these words of blessing. Go now. 
blessing of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit.